language tells all it's as close to a god as we'll ever get investigate it believe it it lives in the earth and in our bones its roots are immortality Akara they say our homes shacks not many years before went up in price more spectacularly than anywhere else in the world that we built them anywhere as if there was no tomorrow that we traded them like cards we allowed the encroachment of funds that had no legs and rezoned our practices to benefit those who could get their hands on the bulk of it and to hell with the vulnerable it's always been our patriotic duty to shield and venerate our lovable rogues. We are first rate at turning a blind eye and operating on mutual obligations. We thrive on secrecy, winks and nods, impenetrable language. Our skills were honed over centuries of colonial rule. Yes, we could carry on owing our former masters everything. We are being dubbed the Wild West of Europe and as haphazard as Kabul. Yet, for a moment, there was a chance to set high standards of fairness and embark on pioneering campaigns to meet them. But our ship is full of fools, and we blew it. Now, they say, we're sinking faster than anywhere else in the world, being washed away by a torrent of funds that never existed. Our homes are worth as much as the shacks our parents and grandparents toiled in. They say our luck has run out, that our only chance is charity, and that charity begins at home. Kishmisha. Engineer the falling into your hands of an arbitrary envelope. Sneak it home, open and examine it. Argue its insignificance to yourself. Look at it intermittently, letting dust settle and cobwebs form on it until it appears illuminated in your sleep. Probe the sender's name and address. Investigate their workplace and activity patterns. Unearth pictures of them. Compose a message and decide on a means of conveyance. Send. Don't bank on a response. Repeat the process. Plotting coordinates towards construction as you go along. Twenty-four June 2008. I have only now received your email. I haven't checked that account in ages. Yes, I'm still in Ireland. This is my work address. Please contact me again if you wish. I wonder if I can still help you and how. 27 June 2008. Of course I will meet you. This all sounds very interesting. Let's arrange something. Maybe in two weeks' time. My parents are visiting at the moment. 5 August 2008. Sounds great. I will do my best to be there. It's in my diary now. 12 August 2008. Looking forward to seeing you. 9 October 2008. Just wondering how you are and if you're back in the country. I was in Poland for a week, but now I'm back in the office. 26 November 2008. I'm afraid I won't be able to come this Thursday. A good friend of mine is leaving to work in Bahrain. The situation is getting complicated everywhere, even in my company. 
and more and more people are forced to join offices in Dubai, Bahrain and Qatar. I hope it won't happen to me because I really like Ireland. 3 March 2009 I have enjoyed the Christmas break and now I'm looking forward to my break in April. Still doing well in my job, luckily. A lot of people lost their jobs in recent months. 19 March 2009 Today we learned our department is closing and we will be made redundant on the 16th of April, getting closer every day. I guess this adds another chapter to the whole architecture story. Everything has come to a standstill in Ireland. I'm hoping to stay for another while though. There is a lot I want to see. The cliffs of Moher, Giant's Causeway, Lakes of Killarney. There was never enough time for this. Then hunting for a job again. 23 March 2009 Unfortunately, I won't be able to come. I'm finishing jobs in the offices and as part of that, I'm flying to Cork. But I'm up for anything after the 16th of April. 18 May 2009 Kerry was wonderful, also a really nice sunny weekend. Was it the last one this summer? Looks like it. Yes, I am still doing a few days here and there. It looks like it's going to be very difficult to find a job. Not to mention that with a foreign name it's twice as hard. I have been looking for nearly a month now. My boyfriend is still in the same company, but not for long I'd say. We'll look for a new destination soon. When do you think this recession is going to end? I'm glad it doesn't affect poetry. 14 July 2009 We have moved apartments recently. I'm still trying to get internet connection there and I'm also getting a laptop this week. Everything's up in the air. We are in Ireland till Christmas. I have already started to look for work in the UK and I have interviews coming up. It's really bad for jobs over here. So no point waiting any longer. 16 October 2009 I have moved to Scotland. I live in Glasgow now and work in the public sector. At work at the moment, actually. 19 December 2009 Glasgow is fine. Getting used to it. However, I can't deny I missed on it. 